sponsored by Jay and doesn't know how to read books that she should because they're really good and everybody else loves them, but she is stupid and doesn't read them. My mom's coming. Called it. I was like, my mom's coming. Called it. So you look very autumn -y to me. I thought that too. Very colorful mm -hmm. autumn. No, it's not. A, I ran out of clothes. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, goodbye. Bye, love you. Love you too. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another video all about the most popular books that I own but have not read part two. So I did this recently and you guys seem to like it so I figured I would make another one because I own a lot of popular books that I have not read so why not share them because we can share my shame because I have a lot of it. So without further ado let us get started. So I have a total of 11 books to show you but a couple of them are series. So technically I have a lot more that I haven't read, but we're just going to count it as one book, so I don't feel as shameful. So, the first series that I still have not read that is extremely popular is the Mortal Instruments series. I've read the first three books, okay guys? I've read the first three books, so don't hate on me too much. I've also read the entire Infernal Devices trilogy, so we're making our way through it slowly. We're gonna get there. But I am now on City of Fallen Angels, so I still have three more books in the Mortal Instruments to read. But the point is, I have read a fair chunk of the series, so I shouldn't feel that shameful, okay? I should not feel that shameful, but I really need to read these books because they're so popular and I wanna watch the TV series. They're on the second season now, so like, your girl needs to get on this. Your girl needs to get on this. And I also really wanna read the Magnus Bane Chronicles. I own that, so there's another popular book that I haven't read. Wow. Well, <sighs> why do I do this to myself? Why? The next book that was super popular when it came out because it was like the first book that she wrote after the Twilight series, blah blah blah. It might have been before the Twilight series, honestly, I don't know because I'm a terrible booktuber, but it is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I was gonna call her Marissa Meyer. This is not the Lunar Chronicles jam. But yes, The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I've had this book for so long. Do you want to know what the funny part is? I have another copy of it. I have, I have two copies of this book. Have I read it yet? No. I know it's about aliens. That's about all I know about this book. But, I've had it for so long now, I really need to get to it eventually, one day. It'll happen. Today's not that day. The next book, I am so upset that I haven't read it yet because I've been wanting to read it so badly for so long now. Everybody says it's the most amazing book. Sarah without an H praises it like crazy. It is Night Film by Marisha Passell. I've had this book for so long now. I said I was going to read this book as soon as I got it. Have I read it yet? Clearly not, because it's on this list, but everybody says how incredible it is, and the formatting is just so cool to me. There's like emails and stuff in it. Of course now that I'm trying to show you, I can't find one, but like, there's like articles, it's like a Lumine, which I also have not read yet, it's fine. Don't own it, so it's not gonna be on this list, but there's another one. Another popular book that I have not read yet is part of a series that I have not read yet, and it is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is book one, it's called Obsidian. There's like three or four other ones, I think. Again, terrible booktuber does not know her series. But I own this book. Have not read it. A lot of people didn't like it though, so I don't feel that bad about this, but a lot of people did also like it, so kind of feel bad about it. But I only own the first book of the series, and your girl likes to marathon her series, so I refuse to read this until I have the entire series, and that is my excuse as to why I have not read it. The next book. Again, part of a series. Again, very shameful about this, because I should have read it a long time ago. But the third book, put me into such a huge slump, I'm scared of them now. And it is Blood Promise. This is the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. As you can see, I've had this on my shelf for my entire booktube career, which I'm pretty sure is like two years now or something like that. So I really should get to it. I really should read the rest of the series. Everybody says that it gets better after the third book. And I loved the first book and the second book and the third book. But just the slump that it put me in is terrifying. I didn't read for like four months after it. So scared to do it? I will do it. One day. The next book is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I am so upset I haven't read this book yet because I know that it's like a mental health kind of book too, which... You know your girl love her mental health books. And I just haven't got into it. And I've had this on my shelf since like July. So I should really read it. And everybody keeps telling me to read it. So keep pushing me to read it, guys. Because if you do, it'll be like the Mortal Instruments and the Little Chronicles series and I might actually do it. Another very popular book that everybody keeps saying is amazing is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Have I read it? No. Have I had this book on my shelf for a million years? Yes. I will get to it eventually, which is the theme of this video. Spons Another very popular book that I have not read that everybody says is pretty good is The Knife of Never Letting Go. This is the first book in the Chaos Walking series. 
or trilogy. Is it a trilogy? I'm not sure. Again, not knowing her uh, series because she's a terrible booktuber. Hello, my name is Jan. <laughs> I read books, clearly not. And this is by Patrick Ness. Haven't read it. Been on my shelf for over two years. The shame. I feel it deep in my little tin heart. I feel it. Another popular book that's kind of been circulating kind of recently on booktube is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. I've had this book on my shelf for over two years, probably closer to three years now. Like, Reagan from Peru's Project said that this book was really good and she really enjoyed it, so why I have not picked it up? Because I usually like the books that she likes. I don't know. The cover's really pretty, so bonus. Next popular book that I own and have not read yet is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and this is by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. I found this in my thrift store. I watched the movie. I enjoyed the movie. I mean, it was kind of like really cheesy and kind of terrible, but I still liked it. I liked the zombies. So I saw this and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it because I like the movie, so maybe I like the book too. And I still have not read it, so there's that. And the final book that is very popular, have not read. I never read one of this author's books. Why? I don't know, because she is so popular. But it is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I really do need to read this book because everybody loves Victoria Schwab, so I need to I need to get on in this action. I need to get into it, and I need to read this book, and it will happen one day, just not today, as always. Alright guys, so those were 11 more popular books that I haven't read, but I own. Well, let me know down below if you've read any of these, which, again, I'm sure you have because they're popular books, so let me know which ones I should read first. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!